I recently learned that there's a little known piece of abandoned history deep in the woods of my home state, Rhode Island. So I went to find it. In the woods is a massive broadcast array with six towers that used to run 50 kilowatts of power, which is the highest power authorized to any AM station in the United States. The tallest stands at about 275 feet, which is the one we're circling now. Each of the towers are spaced at least 600 feet apart, with the furthest being about a quarter of a mile away from the broadcast building. And speaking of the broadcast building, that's still here too, but we'll get to that in a little bit. Daylight was limited, and I knew I wanted to see what was at the base of one of these towers. So I went into the woods to the closest one. If there was a path here at some point, I couldn't find it. These towers were abandoned in 2010, so it's been a while. But despite that, I continued to follow the support lines to the closest tower. These towers were constructed in 1960 and broadcast talk shows and easy listening music. It changed owners through the years, originally being WLKW Radio, until 1989 when it changed to WALE, its final call sign. It was around this time, in the summer of 1991, this broadcast station actually had the top-rated evening program in the market, which is impressive since the evening signal was quite low and the listening area was limited. After a bit of hiking, I got to the base of the closest tower. It was surrounded by a barbed wire chain link fence, and I couldn't get by this one, unfortunately. But if I did get in at the base, is a small room for power equipment and the cables that run back to the broadcast building. It's nothing too exciting, but it's still interesting. If you were to follow the cables, they would all lead back to this broadcast building. This is where the DJs and engineers would stay and run the programs from. It's small, but it got the job done, I guess. You can still see the small cage in the back where the cables from the towers came together and were fed into the building. The building was abandoned at the same time as the towers in 2010. The owners filed for bankruptcy and the doors were closed for good. The last broadcast from here was in 2010 when it aired ABC News Radio and an assortment of talk radio. On August 18th, 2010, the signal was noted as completely silent. Since then, the site has been completely empty and left to rot. The broadcast equipment that used to be here is now gone. As you can see, the inside is pretty gutted. There are only a few sources of natural light in the entire building, which made navigating a bit tricky since you couldn't really see what was around the corner or what were in different rooms. But I had a low light lens, so I was able to see most of it. This is the main equipment room. In the back, you can still see the door leading to where they would broadcast and the racks where the equipment would be. Everything interesting was removed when the station shut down so there's not much left to look at. In 2014, four years after the station's final broadcast, the FCC deleted the call sign when its license was not renewed. There are currently no plans to remove the towers right now. So until then, this array remains quiet, towering above the trees in the woods of Rhode Island. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more interesting abandoned places, you can check out the full series on my YouTube channel right here, or head over to my website, uncommonsensemedia.com.